What's up Chemical Guys family? Today we have a special treat for you. This is Cody, he's a cool guy with a cool car. We're gonna show you how to properly wash your exotic car without adding any swirls or scratches and also enhancing that gloss. So Cody, why don't you tell us about this cool car? So what we have here is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, otherwise known as Purple Monte because it's pretty obvious. Yeah. This car, uh, I took delivery in October of 2017 and because it's cold where we are and snowy, what better place to bring it out to uh, the Chemical Guys headquarters here is to have you guys help me detail it. We've been driving it around in the canyons. This is the fastest car that Lamborghini currently makes and it's the second fastest car in the world to lap the Nürburgring. So it's great to kind of have you help me out sort of clean this up because it's been a mess. Absolutely, yeah, you see you took this out yesterday to the canyons, it got a little dirty, right? That's exactly right. And it's the fastest car, how fast have you had this up to? Um, well, pretty fast, let's just say that. <laughs> and, and the interesting thing in the canyons though, you can't really push it to its yeah. top speed. But the thing about this car is that it literally, it sticks to the ground and it rotates in ways that really blows your mind. So, um, so, because I drive my cars, I don't believe in garage queens. Um, you know, you gotta enjoy it. So it gets dirty, and you gotta, you want that paint to look its, it's best. best every yeah. time. And so that's why I'm here to have you guys give me some tips on how to how to keep it looking as purple as it does. It's an amazing color, it's very different color. I love it. Very crazy. Car. Even on a gloomy day like today, it still has a very, you know, very awesome vibe to yeah. it. Now you're saying you take this to the canyon, does that affect any kind of rock chips with you or? Well yeah, so on the car, the car is fully protected uh, by PPF, this is Expel Ultimate. And I do this with all my cars because uh, again, you kind of want to protect this paint, trying to, to, um, to sort of correct uh, the actual paint if you get these rock chips on it. So it's, it's a it's, nightmare. It's, a, it's more than it's worth. So for me, I've protected the entire car. So most all the exposed surfaces are, um, are, are covered on that. But even with that, I know that that PPF requires uh, a care as well. And Absolutely. so I use a foam cannon at home, use your products. I use you know a two can, two um, uh, bucket solution as well. And it's, it's still a struggle, right? But uh, I'm, I, I know I'm gonna learn some things from you guys today, so I'm Let's happy hope so. to be here. Alrighty, Cody, so today we're gonna be using our two bucket method with our foam cannon and our all new watermelon scent soap to produce tons of suds so we don't scratch that finish and also enhance the shine. So let's get started. So before we start the rinsing process, we're gonna set up both of our buckets. As usual, we have two buckets, one for our rinsing and then one for our soap. And now we're gonna place a dirt trap in each one of our buckets, which is gonna filter out as much of the contamination and abrasive particles of dirt. This way we don't scratch the wrap that's on this vehicle. And now I place them in at an angle. And this reduces any air getting trapped underneath the cones. So what it's gonna do is as you run your washman against that platform, it's gonna force the dirt underneath the platform, keeping it off the vehicle. So now we'll add one ounce of our watermelon scent to our wash bucket. And it has this really nice watermelon scent and also adds this rich glow to the bucket. And we'll also add the same amount of wash solution to our foam cannon. It's already been filled up with water. A detailing trick is to add warm water to your foam cannon. This will help aer aerate the product as you're foaming. And now we'll reattach the top. And I've said it before, but I'll say it again. What you want to do is have it nice and snug, not too tight because you don't want to strip it. And then work back and forth not shaking it up violently, but just gently mixing the solution together. This way it's not creating foam and suds inside of the bottle, but rather as you're aerating. So with any detail, you want to start with the dirtiest area being the wheels. This car is pretty well maintained, so there's not a whole lot of brake dust or road debris, so we'll go over that pretty quickly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse off the vehicle, start from the top and working my way down. This is because on all vehicles, the flat panels is what collects grime, dirt, anything that's really abrasive. And if we rinse from sides and then work our way to the top and flat panels, we're going to create more work for ourselves because that's bringing the dirt into areas we've already cleaned. So we're working from top to bottom and also in straight lines, we're reducing the chances of scratching the vehicle as well as making more work for ourselves. So with that being said, we'll get the pressure washer out, start rinsing, and then we can actually start foaming.
So after using the Big Mouth Foam Cannon and that watermelon scent soap, you can see it's produced tons of suds, which is adding lubrication, but more importantly, it's gonna enhance that shine while we wash. So now we've got our second bucket here full of soap and foam, and now we're gonna take our microfiber wash mitt. Let's grab some of this thick suds. This is gonna again help us lubricate our wash mitt, so in case we trap any abrasive particles, we're not dragging it across the surface and scratching the finish. And now we'll start at the top and working in long passes and linear motions. You can also roll the wash mitt so that you're creating a new fresh edge as you wipe. And then periodically we're gonna go back to our second bucket to wring out the abrasive particles or whatever else we picked up on the surface. Because although this car is brand new and well maintained, there's always gonna be some type of dirt or debris on there that can actually scratch the paint. So now that's why we're gonna come back to our second bucket. And I'll press it all the way to the bottom against that dirt trap. And what this is doing is it's forcing any of the contamination on the wash mitt underneath those cones. This way we keep it off the vehicle. And now to keep this bucket as clean as possible and further reduce the chances of abrasive particles of dirt from returning to the car, we're gonna take it outside and bring it on the ground. And now that we've got most of the old water off, we're gonna grab some more soap and we can keep on washing. So now that we've rinsed off all the spent soap and debris, we're gonna dry it because although it's not very hot outside, it's actually pretty gloomy, water can still spot and dry and that can etch the paint. So we're gonna use our elegant edgeless towel, which is gonna prevent any kind of swirls or scratches because there is no edge and it picks up a lot of water nice and easily. And it's also a very large towel. So there's a few different ways you can dry a vehicle. You can pat it dry where you just simply place the towel on the vehicle and this traps the water. This is a way to ensure that you don't swirl the vehicle because the towel isn't moving. And you can see it's got a perfectly dry finish. Or we can also do our traditional style where we fold it up in four and then we gently place it on the vehicle working in straight lines. And we can also roll the towel. And that picks up a lot of water for a scratch-free shine. So if you guys like this car, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. If you want to learn more about these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.